Right guys, just a quick one this morning with a few simple ingredients we're just going to make cheese and onion toaster without a sandwich toaster and without a panini press this is going to be made in a, in a dry uh, frying pan, no mess uh, it takes about 5 minutes once you put all your ingredients onto your, onto your bread about 5 minutes in pan uh, and I'll run you through it all now, I'll put it together on camera for you, so just bear with me ok so Two slices of Warburton's white sliced bread, buttered with layer pack. A couple of chunks of cheese, sliced white, mature, extra mature, uh, no not extra mature, just white uh, mature cheddar cheese I've put on it. Just sliced it, you can grate it if you want. Uh, a, a small onion sliced, you can dice it, you can do what you want with it. Break it up, throw it on, it doesn't have to be posh, it's all going to get squashed together. Put as much or as little onion as you want, I like loads. Yeah, it's just going to be a quick, simple video of this because uh, I think I've been told I tend to rattle on too much and they go on too long, but you know, that's where it is. Yeah, so a bit of pepper, leap lid on, give it a couple of turns, much or as little pepper as you want, and then just tip it all over your cheese and onion. Put your bread on top, give it a little squash down. And then it's ready to go in the frying pan. So I'm just going to warm a frying pan up uh, and then I'll come back to you. Right, guys, so I've warmed the pan up now, frying pan, on high heat just to get it started. Just using a spatula, give it a little press down, help everything squash together. Then we'll just leave it to start browning on the other side, maybe a minute on full. And then uh, we'll start to turn it down and turn it over. Um, and it should make a right nice soft melted cheese toasty uh, with nice uh, succulent translucent onion and black pepper It'd be lovely no need for um, a panini press no need for a cheese and onion toasty maker that everybody buys uses it for about a week and then forget about it goes in cupboard just takes up space for the next three years till they get it out again and it makes a right mess, you can't even clean them until they go cold. This, in a dry pan, no oil in it, just your butter on the inside of your bread like you're making a normal sandwich. And then when it's finished, it's just a quick wipe over with a bit of warm soapy water, dry it, put it away, done. Right, I'm just going to check underneath. Yeah, look at that, that's going nice now. Right, so at this point, I'm just going to turn it down. A bit lower. What you can do, I'll show you now another little trick. Just turn that down so that you know it gives it time for the uh, cheese and onion to cook inside and what you can do is uh, get a wok turn it even lower and you just put that on the top the wok on the top of that and it makes like a little oven and uh, it'll cook it through I like to say I don't have an oven in this little cabin uh, I have an allergen oven but uh, and I've actually made cheese on toast cheese and onion on toast in uh, allergen oven which turned out alright I might make that one day if it just takes a lot longer to be honest but yeah that's a good little tip but just be careful as the top does get hot you know just to make a little uh, like a little dutch oven to be honest but yeah but it's not necessary yeah see on the other side getting nice and toasted give it a little press keep it all together and help it melt and this is basically what a panini press does just pushes it down you spend all that money when you've already probably got a frying pan and a spatula And it probably don't, I, don't, I don't reckon it'll take much longer, it might take 5-6 minutes to do it. A few minutes on each side. So I'll come back to you in a little bit. So it's been like another minute there now. Uh, I'm just going to turn it over. Just keep turning it and checking your cheese. The cheese is on the bottom side of it now, onions on the top side of that. So I'll leave that nice and, and low just so it can melt through that cheese. Give it a little squash down. That's it, give it the panini press effect. But yeah, so it doesn't take long, five, six minutes maybe, maybe seven minutes, I don't know, but you know, it's not long. Uh, and you can fit two in at once actually in pan, just slide it over, and you'll fit two in, one for you and one for your partner. So yeah, I'll get back to you shortly. Right, guys, I think this is just about ready. See cheese starting to bubble out of the side. 
flip it over yeah looking good is that so yeah i paused the the video then try to keep it short because my video has gone too long uh, so it was about two minutes i just let it cook a little bit longer on it so, you know off camera and i've just flipped it over now and we'll get it out in a minute cut it in half let it cool for a minute and then uh, we'll taste it okay so i've turned that off now i think that's done nice and crispy perfect so move that pan out way and that'll just need a quick wipe but all is in there is a few crumbs a bit of soapy water on the cloth and it's done let's just see if i can bring you over here and if you can see it excuse me yeah knife of that crunch perfect yeah all melted cheese look at that lovely like cool down because it is hot and sometimes i'm not eager to eat it but um i bite straight into it and give myself a blister in my mouth but yeah cheese and onion toast there made simple in a frying pan no panini press no toasty maker done all right guys oh i'm going to taste it for you that's what i'm going to do sorry let's have a look yeah proper yeah proper cheese melted onions cooked still got a bit of crumbs nice bit of black pepper coming through perfect uh, if you could do me a favour, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment. I mean, you can give me a dislike if you want, whichever you want, if you don't like it. But uh, yeah, so if you can give us some uh, a few comments and tips on anything you do, that would be much appreciated. Alright guys, see you at the next one.